All right, good morning guys. Welcome to the awesome April and Davey vlog where it's never a dull moment and our babies brush their teeth. See what I mean? Okay, just got back from a run. Come look how, come look how excited the dogs get. After their run, they always get a treat. We got some laundry to do. Okay, here we go. Come on, puppies. Okay, you ready? You ready, Cookie? You ready? You ready? Oh, oh, back up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep. Ella? Good girls. Frank? No, you don't get one. Okay. We just got back. Daisy and I got to go to this event called, oh, this is messed up. It's called Power in You by Melissa Osmond. If you do not know who she is, I met her actually at like a tennis match. She lives close to me. And I didn't know who she was, but I just thought, who's this beautiful, sweet woman? And she came up to talk to me, and we became friends. And she invited me to this event, and I went today, and I was like blown away. This woman is amazing and powerful. Let me just tell you right now, I didn't know this until a couple days ago because I saw her Instagram, but she is married to Donnie Osmond's son. So that's where Osmond comes in. And I guess... She told a story today that I was just like crying and like sweetheart because she was like, I'm like a very private person. I put myself on the internet and then somehow something happened where she was thrown into the spotlight and like a lot of hate thrown at her from other people that had no idea who she was, just like tabloid crap. And I was like heartbroken because she's like, I started reading the comments and it was so mean, you guys. She's like, I was an adult married and that's the first time I felt, felt like so worthless and like so many people saying negative things about me. And she's like, and I wanted to pretend like it didn't matter, but she's like, it was hard. Anyway, she told a little bit about her story and how she found the true like power in herself to like throw all that trash in the garbage, what other people's opinions of her and really just focus on who she really was and how beautiful she is inside and out and keep going with life and sharing and now she's built something so beautiful she does these twice a year I think they're always in Utah you could correct me on that but if you ever do get the chance to go to one of her events if she ever grows outside of Utah and expands which I hope she does because it's wonderful you should totally go um, she collects uh, no she doesn't collect she invites <laughs> she invites wonderful women to come and speak and, and just inspire everyone to realize the potential and the power that they have inside because we all have it. Um, one of the things I took away today that I just, I've known and I just thought it was beautiful to like restate was you cannot change your worth ever. Like everyone has worth and it's eternal and it's something that you're never worthless. Like even if you are feeling yucky, that's not your worth. Your worth is amazing and high no matter what like you can't change your value you are the worth of a soul is great in the sight of the Lord like I love that quote but that's kind of the point that I loved from her thing it was like you'll never be able to change your worth no matter what choice you make no matter what decision you make your your worth is the same God loves you you're worth everything and you're worthy okay but well, how we view ourselves and that's our self-confidence and that's what we all have to work on because it kind of goes like this and so she helps people work on having more self-confidence and believing that like a believing that you are of worth which we all are and that should just be like your core but then on top of that believing that you have power in, in you to do amazing things which is absolutely true for all of us and if you believe it you can do it so that's my little takeaway that I loved. Is there anything you love, Daisy? I loved all of it. Yeah, it was wonderful. So, there you go. Now we're back with the family, with the kids. I'm gonna go play in the sunshine with them. And Daisy has some friends coming over and they're gonna go shopping, so. Okay guys, we got the bus out, dusted it off. Hey, Frank, come here, look. Okay, so anyways, we decided to do some errands. We're in the bus, we got Frank. He's finally calming down. Ender got a harmonica, which April's really excited about. Taking Zade over, he's gonna film a, a video with Kira, and Eb got candy. Summed it up in 13 seconds. Boom. 
funny oh. story though, everything in the store is five dollars and under, and the girls all picked out the same outfit without looking at each other. Like not all of them, but like four of them. They all looked at each other's hands and they started laughing. <laughs> they all had the same leggings and shirt picked out. We took Daisy and her friends to go do a little shopping at this store. It's called Five Below. So oh, was everything below it's five? A yeah, it's, it's like a dollar $5 store. $5. But it's a little nicer little thing. nicer. But the thing is, some of the things were a good deal, and some of the things I was like, at the dollar store, you could get that for a dollar, but here it's three fifty. <laughs> yeah. Not a good deal. Maybe it's better quality, though. Who knows? Okay, guys, for the rest of the vlog today, we're going to test what it's like to... I'm using the GoPro. I want to see if I like it for a GoPro camera, or for a vlogging camera. Um, I think you're going to like it. It's more stable. Sound, it's really good for outside, and um, it's really good in different lighting situations. So, um, you guys will, I mean, I'll probably see it when I edit it, but I want you guys to see and watch when we step outside. Frank, come here. How good it just transitions real nice, has good dynamic range. It's windy out here with our, the other camera we've been using. This, this audio, yeah, this audio would be completely unusable right now. So you'll have to tell me what you think of this. And like I said, it's super smooth. Oh, Frank. So it has the hyper smooth stabilization. So I think you guys are gonna like that. Less dizzy. And it actually has, I can see myself on the front. It's not a super high quality picture, but um, yeah. Let's go see what it looks like downstairs. I think April's working on something down there. Um, Frank, let's go see what's going on down there. Oh, the stair slide, Frank. Yes. So I Except bought a for... cute dress from Free People and then wore it twice. From and Free People? Free People. Free People. Wore it for family pictures in Mexico and then I wore it maybe one or two other times. But today I was wearing it for maybe the second or third time, I don't know. Walked by the bus, the wind blew it into Bam. the tire and ripped the very bottom of the hem off. So I'm re-hemming it. I just cut off at an inch and I'm making it a little shorter because I'm like, I don't want to lose my dress. And I know how to sew, so why You're not? A good sewer. Um, okay, frankincense. So, there you have it guys. This is the GoPro used as a vlogging camera. I like it. I think, I think we're gonna switch to it. What do you think, Frank? Um, yeah, we'll have to see what April thinks of it, but we've got a few things going on. The smoothness though, while I'm walking, I can run with a baby <laughs> up the stairs and it's real smooth and Ender's there. Oh, did you see how smooth that is? Ender, let's do a little test. I want you to keep this on yourself and run around the yard. Let's see how smooth it is. So okay. try, to, try to hold it smooth. Do one lap around the yard. We're doing a smoothness test and be talking the whole time. Tell them what you did today. Keep it up high, up high. So, um, I was, I just was like, we just went to like a fun like party thing and I, Um, and I'm cleaning so I could earn the kite that I got at the party. Okay, yeah, that's basically all I did. I fact, I did school with every, just like fake school, not like actual school. And, yeah. Exercise too. There you have it guys, that's Ender doing a vlog run. Okay, good as new. Good as new. A little shorter. Bad. No, actually, like it better. You know what? Let's go outside and frolic, and I'll follow you because we have really good hyper smooth stabilization now. Oh. So, well, don't step any poo, but you can frolic as much as you want. Okay, we'll do one quick test. Here. Okay. Frank, come here. Okay. 
So I was at that five below store with the kids and I saw these little one pound weights and I was like, perfect, I've been wanting those. Is that real, like you would use one pound? So I've been doing the workouts from the Open and Fit, the Andrea, bar? like the Bar X classes from the Andrea girl. And they use the one or two pound weights and I was using my threes and I couldn't even make it through like a third of it because it's just too hard because you're holding your arms out like this or like this mm. and you're like doing ballet with two, one pound weights. So now I can do my little classes in the morning and yeah, it's hard. I bet you couldn't do it. I bet you can't do it. <laughs> I bet I don't want to. <laughs> my calves are sore. Like it's just a lot of little movements, but I love it. It's a good little... Good little app if you want to have a 30 minute workout that still challenges you that gets result results that's fun and i love it there you go